Phoenix Home Care and Hospice. I choose Phoenix. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Why It Matters. I'm Terry Tucker with Phoenix Home Care and Hospice. Why It Matters is a video series that we do to help celebrate those moments that life gives us and to fill those moments with information and knowledge about how to make the most of life. And so I'm so excited to be here today with two friends. We have Michael Hotman and Michael Steinmetz with Secure Insurance Group. Hi guys, we're glad you're here. Good morning, thanks for having us. Well, we are honored to talk to you today. You know, I, uh, I think about insurance sometimes as a mom with kids and a husband, and I know that my parents both got to that age where they joined Medicare, and wow, when all of a sudden you get to that magic age and you say, well, now I'm, I'm eligible for Medicare, you kind of stop and think, what's the best thing to do? So I think there's two moments in life where we really do need to pause and think. One is when we're at a moment of change in our life, when we're crossing into retirement or we're eligible for Medicare. And another time is maybe in that annual period where we can stop and evaluate. So I guess my first question to you guys is, if I'm already on Medicare and I'm already retired, should I be comfortable or should I ever go back and really kind of look at my insurance coverage and say what should I do is it appropriate to review yeah honestly you should probably review that every year um, plans change coverage changes and most of all the premiums um, change so again a good it's like I guess I compare it to you know a shirt and pants I mean it might fit today but it might not fit a year from now <laughs> especially yeah. after the COVID 20 right, right? Yes. Correct. it's possible it doesn't fit anymore right so you agree too that you should yeah. review the biggest thing with with uh, the Medicare at first it's confusing for people because there's so many options for people to pick so we kind of take that confusion away and look at it and see what fits in each person okay um, reviewing it every year uh, Missouri is a Missouri anniversary rural state there's only four states that have that law. Oh, really? So on Medicare supplements with that law, every year on your policy effective date. So if your policy went into effect, say, August 1st, uh -huh. you have 30 days either side of that day that you can move to any other company as long as you stay same plan, same plan. No health questions, no pre-existing. So that's why it's very important for people to look at it because somebody may have their plan for five, eight years and they're paying 250, but they can get the same plan from another company for 200 because wow. the plans and benefits are the same because Medicare controls those. Wow, so and on a fixed income, that's a big deal. Exactly. So it's very important for clients and people to review that because they can maybe save $50 a month and have the same coverage. That's amazing. So is there an open enrollment period then too? The open enrollment period is for Medicare Advantage and prescription drug plans. Oh, okay. That's October 15th through December 7th every year when somebody can change their prescription drug plan for the next year, or if they're on a Medicare Advantage plan, not a Medicare supplement plan, they can change that plan for the next year. Okay, so, so I have this look in my face that says, <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking right. about. So could you tell me the difference between like an Advantage plan, a supplement, a, what what's the difference and what do I need to know? Let's start with you. Well, a uh, Medicare supplement, um, Mainly, you know, Michael answered probably more to these things, but the big difference, gleaming difference for me is that on a, a, a Medicare supplement plan, you, if you get on the right plan, you have no copay and you do have a premium. However, Advantage plan, you might not have no premium, but you have to, you go where you're told to the doctor and then you have quite a bit of out-of-pocket or you can sustain you know, a large amount of out-of-pocket if something were to happen. Really? Yeah, and then I'll, again, I'll let Mike. So, yeah. so tell me the terminology again. The, the Medicare supplements, those have no network. So you go wherever you want in the United States. And go States, to any doctor I want to go to? Yes. Take Medicare. Okay. So you have a monthly premium for that. Okay. But it works with Medicare. So Medicare's primary, your Medicare supplement is secondary, picks up what Medicare does. Okay. Your Medicare Advantage plans, when you have one of those, you do not keep Medicare, but Medicare's out of the claims paying situation at that point because they pay those companies, the Advantage companies, so much a month and then 
and the companies are responsible for your claims. The difference with an advantage is you don't pay a monthly premium, but you have co-pays for everything you do, like hospital stay, primary specialist, and then you even have, going to the doctor for a checkup. Right. Okay. And then you have out of pocket max, depending on what company, anywhere from thirty-four hundred to five thousand in co-pays. So if you ever hit that amount in co-pays in the year, then your advantage plan pays one hundred percent for you. Okay. Where the supplement, you pay the monthly premium, but everything's picked up for you at that point, and you have the freedom to go where you want to go. Okay. So let me see if I get it right. So if I do the um, Medicare and Medicare supplement plan. I can go to any doctor I want. Correct. I Correct. do have a monthly premium. Correct. Correct. But everything else is picked up. Right. So there is no like deductible per se. Right. And depending on what plan, uh, Plan G is probably your most popular plan. Um, the only thing on that plan you have to pay is your Part B deductible under Medicare, which is two hundred and three dollars one time a year. And that's really? for, the, so, for the entire year. So basically, between Medicare and Plan G. The most you could be out of pocket is two hundred three dollars for the whole year. No matter if you had ten million, five million, or you know, wow. And then, but you do have a monthly premium with that yes, one. Yes. Yes. Give me a ballpark of what premiums might run. Um, you're looking at Plan G, probably a female age sixty five. You're probably looking about one hundred twenty four to one hundred twenty five a month. Okay. And then they have to pay their Part B premium, which is one forty eight fifty. That's what the government. Medicare charges everybody for Part B. Okay. And then you have to pay that whether you do a supplemental plan or an advantage plan. Okay, so, so you you're going to pay that either you way. Can't get away yes, from that. you're right. going to pay that. So either. that's why the supplement plans because those benefits stay the same year to year, but you have to really look at your premiums. Sure. Because they go up every year. But like I said, in Missouri, you have the option every year to move. To go back and to, look and see what the best deal is for them. Exactly. All right. So that's why it's very important for everybody to look every year or have somebody look at it for them. Sure. So to make sure, hey, I'm not paying more. That's wonderful. Now the Medicare supp or the Medicare Advantage plans then is more like a HMO or a PPO? Yes, or? They're yes. HMOs. yes. They're HMOs, okay. So I have less premium or no premium. Correct. I still have to pay that Medicare premium of right. 140. 148.50. Correct. Okay, I still have to pay that. But I don't have to pay for the Advantage, but I have to go where Advantage plan tells me to go. Right. Yes. Like in this area, a lot of them are Mercy Cops. You okay. have both those networks. Sure. Um, Joplin area, you know, Freeman, Mercy type of, I mean. It's an it's, or. Right. right. But if you want to go, say you want to go to the Mayo Clinic, the Mayo Clinic does not accept any of those plans. So you do okay. accept Medicare, Medicare supplements, but they don't accept the Wow, plans. that's so big to know. It limits you in some aspects. Of sure. who you can go to and who you can see. Okay. So, you guys, if I'm in a situation where I want to review my plan, what do I do? Do I just call and say, hey, I want to review my plan? I mean, is that a normal question? I just call? Yeah, yeah absolutely. I, I mean, I'm, I hate picking on Mike, but I'll just take November, for instance. How many people did you rewrite in November, just ballpark? Probably. 80 to 100. Wow. And, and that's in every one of those, he was able to save them money just, just by rewriting sit down them. And to, it yes, and rewrite yes. it. Right. And Wonderful. then, you know, the other thing is, too, and I hate to break it in, and, and so I apologize, Please. but what you see on TV is not, is not it's everything, it's not all the information. Sure. There's a lot, I, a lot of the ads on TV, they'll, they'll say, you know, oh, what's zero, zero, zero. Yeah. Right. Well, it's not zero, zero, zero because you have co -pays. but what they do is do that to get people to call because they want my opportunity. Right. And then they'll enroll in a plan over the phone, switch them out of maybe a Medicare supplement, which you're better off than a supplement plan, and they really don't know what they right. have. Right, right. Which, it's a bad thing for the consumer because they're not being informed on all they're being told when they cost them. Sure. Yeah. One last question I have that I find fascinating is in, based on some of that advertising. We hear things like we can bring your medicine to you or we can do telehealth or we can, I mean a lot of those things are also available with the Medicare supplement, right? Yes. Yeah. Pharmacy plans, things well, like that you can add on. You add on, yeah. If you do a supplement, you have to add a Part D. Which, which is the, day, the drug, which is the, the drug pharmacy. Side. The Advantage plans have the pharmacy plan built in. Okay. So it's included. Okay. But there's 28 different Part Ds. Oh my goodness. So I mean, yeah. really, that's more reason every year, and they change every year too. So that October 15th to December 7th window 
is when you can review those and change, you know, clients' drug And plans. it's good to go back and just look. Because some companies, you know, on their drug plan may drop a, a drug, move it from a tier two to a tier three, which is a higher copay. Sure. And another company may keep it at a two. Okay. So it's good to review those to make sure, hey, I got the best copays, the best plan, you know, year in and year sure. out, you know, that way. Does it cost me anything to call you and have you review it? Absolutely. No. Absolutely. Really? No. Well, we're going to be doing that when the time comes. <laughs> that is awesome. Michael, Michael, thank you so much for joining me today on Why It Matters. You're just helping us be smarter. Well, thank, thank you for having us. Yeah, thanks for having us. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. And thank you for joining us for Why It Matters. We'll see you next time with Phoenix Home Care and Hospice. Phoenix Home Care and Hospice, I choose Phoenix.